Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Samrin and I do makeup, beauty and sometimes lifestyle content on my channel. So if any of that interests you, please consider subscribing to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to test out a lot of Huda Beauty products. Huda Beauty is actually my top brand when it comes to makeup. Everything that I've tried out from them so far has turned out to be literally my favorite product. Today I'm going to test out a lot more of Huda Beauty, a lot of the new releases and a lot of the products that I haven't used before. This video was actually requested by one of you guys. So if it was you who requested it, I hope you're watching it first of all because it was requested a while back. But yes, I hope you enjoy this video and I would absolutely love it if you watched this video until the very end. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. If you want to check out any of the products that I mentioned in today's video, just go to my description box. I have them all linked in my description box. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. A lot of these products I've not tried out before. I want to say it's 50-50. 50% of them I have used before and I've loved. And then 50% are new to me. They're not new products by Huda per se. I already filled in my brows using my favorite brow products that are not from Huda Beauty because Huda doesn't really have a brow product yet, right? Oh my god, actually a recent product is a brow product, uh, but yeah, it's not available in India yet. I'm also going to prime my eyelids with this NYX eyeshadow primer. It's just called NYX eyeshadow base and it's in skin tone. They also have a white one in this. Huda Beauty doesn't have an eyeshadow base either. I like this NYX eyeshadow primer because it kind of acts like a concealer also. As you can see, it covered up the darkness on my eyelids. Moving on to eyeshadow, I have these three Huda Beauty mini gemstone palettes. I actually love all three of these. I also have the bigger Huda Beauty palette. It's called the... Yeah, it's called the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette, but I've already used it a couple of times in my older videos. Go check out my older videos if you want to see how that palette performs. Uh, but these are newer to me, so I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use this one today because it will kind of go with my sweater. We'll see. I'll definitely use this more but if I feel like I need some shades from these ones we'll also use these. I'm starting off with picking up this shade. I'm stamping it in my crease. Next up I'm taking this shade and blending our first shade out. I'm then picking up this pale sort of skin toned shade i don't know how else to describe this but it's a matte shade and i'm picking it up on a fluffy brush I'm putting it on my crease and using it to blend out the shadows further so i've noticed a little difference between the eyeshadow formula on these small eyeshadow palettes versus the bigger Huda beauty palette that i have which is the Huda beauty desert dusk palette the mattes in these are better they are more blendable and more pigmented and the colors are also super vibrant. I'm using the Huda Beauty Over Achiever Concealer in the shade Cookie Dough and I'm going to cut my crease with this. foundation I'm using this Huda Beauty stick foundation this is the Huda Beauty four filter skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick and I'm in the shade 320 G it is just a tad bit darker for me but it's going to be perfect for me in the summers I've used this foundation I think twice before um, it's not available in India as of right now. I actually do like this foundation. It is actually very skin-like. Once I'll blend this out, you'll see what I mean. According to me, it's definitely targeted more towards normal to drier skin types. As you can see, it's not covering up my blemishes entirely. 
because this is a very lightweight foundation and it's also i want to say light to buildable to medium coverage it's not extremely light coverage either you can build its coverage if that is something that you want so it did not cover my blemishes and my acne spots entirely but it's definitely made them look like a lot better twice as nice but if you do want to build it up and cover some extra spots i think you should be able to do that but this literally just melts into your skin like butter when you use a damp beauty sponge again i'm going to use the huda beauty overachiever concealer this is in the shade cookie dough it has this metal applicator as you can see so it feels really cooling and like super refreshing underneath your eye this concealer oh my god i've used it once and it is full coverage like full coverage this shade is so perfect for me that i literally won't have to use two concealers like i usually do one for color correcting and then one to highlight underneath my eye however i do feel like it slightly oxidizes as you can see this has been on my skin for a few seconds versus this color i feel like it gets about half a shade darker to you know the initial application that's it it won't get darker throughout the day so it's all right i don't really mind it absolutely love the coverage of this you saw that i had no product underneath my eyes no foundation no other concealer besides this one and look at how my dark circles have been covered honestly i absolutely love this I really think that this could be my new favorite concealer i'm using the huda beauty tan tour in the shade medium if you're my skin tone definitely get the light shade of this because this is a little bit too dark for me but i mean i can uh, make it work somehow i think this is one of the products that i used in like my very first video when i started my channel this is my favorite out of all the bronzers contours that i own this is my favorite of all time it just makes your contour look so realistic and just like the foundation it also melts into your skin like butter you just have to tap a few times and i would recommend that you do it section by section look at that it doesn't even look like i have any sort of product on my face it doesn't feel like that either i'll just blend it with my fingers you can use a brush if that is what you like it gave me an instant cheekbone like you saw that this was not there before if it were up to me i would literally use this as my bronzer slash my contour in each and every one of my videos a little advice would be to never lose this cap that it comes with and to always place it back then close the lid all the way on this one because that is the way that you prevent your cream products from drying out i've had this for over a year and it's still works perfectly finally it has not dried out touch wood <laughs> just a little heads up slash tip moving on i'm going to use this hora beauty demi matte liquid lipstick i've used the shade she used so many times on my channel but this is the shade shekha it's a newer shade as you can tell that it's still in its packaging i think this is one of the things that i actually got for free when i shopped for so much hora beauty makeup on nykaa So my number one favorite Huda Beauty lipstick formula is the Demi Matte liquid lipstick formula and then on number second is their Par Bullet matte and then I would say the matte liquid lipsticks are my third favorite just because I have such drying lips. I feel like this shade is not really going with the eye look so I'm going to blot it off at the back of my hand. This is much better because it looks more like a stain now rather than a full on lip color since hoda doesn't really have a blush not as far as i know i'm going to use the same lipstick as my blush also taking this mini hoda beauty liquid matte lipstick this is in the shade icon 
it's a very similar shade except for it's a little bit more peachy and of course the formula is more matte so I'm gonna mix these two together I'm going to pick it up on my sponge and then apply it on my cheeks so I have used all the liquid products that I wanted to use so I'm going to set my face now and I'll use of course the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder this is in the shade Banana Bread and I have actually compared this to the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder if you want to see that video I will have it linked down below this is worth 3000 so just imagine if the Maybelline powder does end up being a dupe to this I'll link that video down below okay, so on the packaging it says that you can use this powder either with a damp sponge or with a brush. I do prefer setting my face with a brush. But recently I've been loving using a damp sponge underneath my eyes. I just feel like it gives such a more flawless finish. So we're going to do both actually. I'm going to read the instructions from the packaging. It says dip dense brush or beauty sponge into powder net. Pack a generous layer under the eye from corners through temples, T-zone, outer corners of the mouth and chin. Let powder bake for 3 to 5 minutes while applying the rest of your makeup. Okay, I am not going to bake because I do not like baking. It just makes my under eyes specifically look so freaking bad. So these are the instructions for baking. Basically, um, I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to set my face as I normally set my face with any loose powder. And this is only my second time using this actually this powder when you open it it feels like you've opened a perfume jar or something it is very fragrant and i like the fragrance of it but i know that some people don't like fragrance in their products and you know they can be sensitive to fragrance so just keep that in mind and another thing i want to say is it smells like gulal or holy ke colors i even said that in my comparison video where I compared this to the Maybelline loose powder it really does smell like that I'll be using this Huda Beauty bake and blend brush I thought it was fitting of me to do that it has mattified my skin quite a lot For my under eyes, I'm firstly going to tap out all the creases. And then I'm going to go in with this powder on a brush. I'm also picking it up on a beauty blender directly from here and then pressing it underneath my eyes as a little bit more of like a brightening step and it totally did sharpen that edge and brightened my under eyes. I'm pressing and tapping that powder all the way into my skin. This side literally looks airbrushed as compared to this side as you can see for yourself. For underneath my eyes, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions Eye Palette. The red one that I use is called the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions Palette. I just thought it'll be a little bit more fun to use two colors on my eyes instead of just keeping in monochromatic. I'm actually going to use this shade over here on my lower lashes. I'm going to pick up this iridescent purpley shade and, and I'll use this as my inner corner highlight. Also using it underneath my brow bone to highlight it. I'm also going to highlight my nose with the same shade. I'm also going to highlight my cheekbones with the same shade. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Glow Coco Hydrating Mist. So it says that you can use this in three ways. One is to prime. Spray onto your face before doing your makeup to prep your skin. Just like the MAC Fix Plus Spray. 
um, and then the second is ready set go apply right after you are done with your makeup to create a dewy look it doesn't say that it's going to extend the wear of your makeup anywhere okay, so the third way that you can use this is freshen up refresh throughout the day for extra hydration which i don't need because i have combination skin that's more on the oily side but i think if you have dry skin this could be it for you it has a very tropical coconutty scent this is not heavily fragranced at all it has left some blotches on my skin the spray on this is very fine and i'll be honest guys um i feel much more hydrated when i use the mac fix plus another possible favorite of mine this is exactly why i say that huda beauty is like my top brand when it comes to makeup anything and everything that i've tried from huda beauty has literally worked so well for me okay so now this is the product that i am the most excited to try out it's the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara oh my god I have seen such amazing results of people using them and if you know me and if you've been following me for a while you must have heard me complain about my shitty short lashes um, and I've seen so many people use this with lashes that are similar to mine and oh my god after using this their lashes were like you know and i want that so so this mascara basically has two sides one is the curl and length side and then one is the volume side i mean i feel like these are the two things that most people look for in a mascara i'm gonna start with the curl and length side wait i think this has like little fibers in it can you guys see that i don't know if you guys are able to see it or not but this has fibers in it like they're extremely thin and tiny this is how my eyelashes look with about two coats now going in with the volume side it also has a different brush than the curl side and also the formula feels a little bit more thicker to look at it definitely added instant volume these are my lashes using both the sides together this is literally just my first try and i do like it of course but i'm just saying that it's expensive right it's huda beauty i can get a similar result with a maybelline mascara is all i'm saying so i'm going to wear it a few more times and then see because i'm going to do my top three favorites from all the products that i use in today's video number one has to be the huda beauty tan tour i 100 percent back this up any day like i said this is my favorite contour slash bronzer product ever so definitely would recommend this the most out of anything my second favorite actually was this huda beauty Four filter foundation stick i love how luminous it looked how easily it almost melted like butter into my skin and it looked so flawless on my skin i think it's going to be perfect for all weathers like summers winters spring autumn and i love the coverage of this it's not too full glam which i don't like i think the biggest thing with this foundation that i absolutely love is when I look at my skin, not just on camera, but in person, it looks like actual skin. Like, it literally looks like skin and I have never seen that with any foundation that I've ever used. In real life, no matter what foundation I have used, and if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have used a lot of foundations. Off camera, like in the mirror, it you can tell that you are wearing foundation and you're wearing makeup it doesn't matter if i use a lot of it or a lot less of it you can tell that i'm wearing foundation but with this literally actually looks like skin even in real life and uh, love this love this so much it's so hard to pick just three but i think i'm going to go with this huda beauty easy bake powder this is in banana bread by the way did i mention it absolutely love how flawless it has made my under eyes look it has also brightened them 
um, definitely hasn't dried out my skin hasn't emphasized any texture or anything looks perfect on my skin so yes all the products in today's video I absolutely loved and I think I'm going to end this video here thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's the little button down below I think it's here I, I don't know it's probably here I, I don't know just click it and like this video and also follow me on my socials my instagram and twitter are linked in the description along with all the products that i use in today's video so yes please go and check out my description for all the links to everything in this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys super 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 soon in my next video bye guys